spare the rod and spoil the child. That's what the Bible says. It may appear to be a little bit rude, but we have to learn a lesson. That's what God intended. You know, of all the species in the world, only human beings are unprogrammed. All other animals, they live with intuitive knowledge, whereas human beings, they have to be taught. Probably only two things we do intuit by intuition. One is to cry, the other one is to suck milk from the mother. But rest of the things we have been taught by our parents to do. That's the reason humans, they live the longest period of all other species with the parents. Therefore, Training is a part of growing up the children. God intended family to be like that. God made humans like that. We learn from our parents. So if the parents are not disciplining, if they are not training, if they are not teaching, they are losing or they are not doing their basic work. Therefore, disciplining becomes very essential. Now we have two questions. How should I discipline? What are the difficulties I go through when I'm disciplining? I'll tell you. A lot of parents, they know they need to discipline their children, but they find it difficult for three reasons. Reason number one is this, to discipline, you need to take a lot of time because without love, disciplining is not possible. If you are not loving, but you are trying to say that I'm disciplining, you are not disciplining. You are only abusing your child. You are only trying to make your child weep and cry, that's all. But in disciplining, love plays a very important role. Therefore, the first concept is patience. You will be very patient with the child. You want to see that the child becomes right. For that, you struggle a lot. The second thing is, you need a lot of wisdom when you are disciplining because you need to identify where exactly is the problem, how to rectify your child, how to bring back your child to the right track. So that's the second one, you need wisdom. The third one is you need courage. You may be wondering why I'm using the word courage because if you are a loving father and if you are disciplining your child, if your child is crying, more than your child, you will be hurt. More than your child, you will be going through that pain. If you are not going through that pain, probably you are not disciplining. You are only trying to abuse your child. So these, these are the three difficulties a father may go or a mother may go if they are disciplining their child. But when you are, when you are disciplining your child, you need to take some precautions. Number one, you cannot discipline your child everywhere. What I mean by everywhere, before everybody, because that will put down your child. Second one, you can't hit your child at any place you want. Because if you are using your hand to, to express your love, and if you use the same hand to um, discipline him, your child will get confused. So it's always good to use a small stick. And using a stick on every part of the body is not, again, good probably on the bottom part, only on the legs and other way, where he can feel the pain and get corrected. So this is one important precaution you have to take. Not everywhere, not before everyone. And number three, when you are disciplining, you must be always prayerful. Because if you are not prayerful, you will try to ventilate your anger upon the child and that will be abuse you. So if you can take these precautions, I'm sure that you, will going, you are going to bring out a wonderful child, a wonderful person person out of your daughter and out of your son. That's what God is expecting from you, from the father and mother to raise up your children as a godly children. And when your children grow up and they become servants of God, they will bless you and they will, will be very proud of your parents. So this is our prayer and this is our wish that you should become proud parents by raising up godly children.